not superstitious, but I'm, I am a little stitious. Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about my experience meeting Sierra Bogus and doing a Broadway workshop with her on Zoom. So, today is May 3rd. Yesterday was May 2nd and that was when the Zoom was. I'm going to kind of take you through everything that I was feeling. I have some vlog clips. I don't want to put the whole vlog in because I'm kind of freaking out, but I'm going to put some vlog clips in as I'm talking about this. So I'm going to tell the whole story right now. Um, what happened and like before, preparing, all that sort of stuff. So first I'm going to start off with, I guess, Sierra. So um, I became a fan of Sierra like a little more than a month ago, um, which seems like, wow, you're like... You become a really big fan of her in like a month yeah but if you know her or know of, like if you know of her like you know why like she's a really inspirational person and she looks like her message is just so powerful and it really just stuck with me um after watching Phantom for the first time I kind of just like I was like her voice is amazing so I like followed her on Instagram but I decided to watch some videos of her like on YouTube, like songs, interviews, and she's just an like she's just an amazing person, and like something just really stuck with me about her, and that's why she's such a big inspiration to me, I guess. So me and my parents were sitting at the dinner table, and I was talking to them just about Sierra, as I do, and um, so. I was like, uh, I, th I think I was just telling them about how she does like these Broadway workshop master classes um, every month and she's been doing them on Zoom since the quarantine. And I was like, I, th I, I don't really know why I brought it up, I just thought it was cool because we were talking about it. And my dad was like, that's cool, I would buy, I would like get that for you and I was like, what? Like I was like really like excited. But I, there weren't any dates available and I didn't think that if he actually did it would happen anytime soon. So, literally like a day later, she came out with May dates, and immediately I was like, oh my god, like maybe I could do this. It was April 24th, and my, like 10 minutes before my lesson, my dad comes in my room, and he goes, check your email. And I was using like my dad's laptop for my Zoom lesson, because I don't have a laptop right now. Um, I have a computer downstairs, but it's just easier to use a laptop in my room. So, I went on and checked my email because I was getting ready for my lesson anyways. So it just basically said that I'm doing an online workshop with Sierra Bogus on May 2nd. And I, I kid you not, I sat there and I was like, I didn't even know what to do. I was like, oh my God, like, are you serious? And like, I didn't, like, I was like, thank you so much. And I just kind of like sat there for a second looking at it and my dad went downstairs and I immediately started crying like so hard. I was so happy in that moment. This is what I, <laughs> I took a picture um, just like to get my reaction I guess um, so that I can show things. I was so happy. He didn't really read into it so he was like wait May 2nd is next week. So this was Friday and it was on a Saturday so it was next Saturday and I was like I have to prepare now. So the email was like you have to sing for her and I mean that's not a problem but but I just it's like I just thought we would like she'd be teaching us like acting and stuff I didn't know what we had to like sing for her but it, it was like fine so I texted my voice teacher and I was like hey I'm sorry if I'm all over the place because I was jumping up and down I was I went down and told my mom there's my cat Minnie <laughs> I ran back upstairs and I was getting ready for my lesson so I texted my voice teacher and I was like I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place my dad just told me that I'm doing a zoom master class with Sierra Bogus and she was like oh my god I'm so happy for you and I was like yeah I was wondering if you could like help me prepare because she's my voice teacher and she was like of course so we set up um, a Wednesday lesson and a Friday lesson so I had two lessons this week or last week whatever um, so I had that Friday lesson and then the next week I had a lesson on Wednesday and a lesson on Friday. The songs that I was choosing from were Love Never Dies from Love Never Dies, um, Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid, um, She Used to Be Mine from Waitress, and What Baking Can Do from Waitress. Wednesday lesson we went over Love Never Dies and every day I was singing so much going through it and I only had to sing 32 bars which is good because I 
geez, singing that whole one of those whole songs. It would take up a lot of time too. I sang Love Never Dies that day and it went really well. So I was like, I'm probably gonna sing that. I just kept practicing all week. All week, my nerves were everywhere. Every time I think of it, like my stomach would like get butterflies, as you would say. And I was so excited yet so nervous. And I was so nervous Monday and Tuesday because I was like, I don't feel prepared enough. But after Wednesday, I was totally fine because I felt more prepared. Friday comes along and I'm like, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. Oh my God. My phone's on the ground. You have absolutely no idea how excited I am. So, so many things. So I created a Sierra Bogus um, group chat on Instagram. She went live for Stars in the House to raise money for the actors program. And she had like a bunch of guests on. It was really cool and really fun. So I'm getting so many notifications. I'm freaking out. I have a lesson in like an hour. Like, sometimes they put like comments on the screen. This isn't a big deal because I'm meeting her tomorrow, but I still think it's really cool that this happened. So that's, I said, I've never clapped harder. <laughs> And they put it on the screen. And then after, I said, oh my god, that was amazing. And it was on the screen. Look at, how, look at freaking Sierra Bogus. I Literally, tomorrow, I'm going to have a picture with me and her on the same screen. But, like, this is good enough for today. <laughs> May is off to a really great start. Like, this is amazing. I became a fan of her a month ago. Which seems crazy, but I was talking to someone earlier on Twitter. And they said they've only been a fan of her for, like, two or three months. So, you know what? I'm not that crazy. When I like something, I like it, and I don't stop liking it, so <laughs> that's me. But anyways, I'm meeting her tomorrow, I'm practicing, I think I'm going to sing Love Never Dies, because I've been practicing it a lot, and it's just really special because she was the original Christine in Love Never Dies, and I just think that would be really cool, and I want to be Christine one day, so I think that, I don't know, just to hear her say anything about my voice singing a Christine song, just... Tomorrow I'm going to be a mess. I'm already a mess today, but I have all these like people now that I'm talking to that are like really happy, like excited for me. I mean, a lot of people are feeling me, but like Sierra fans that I've been talking to that are like really excited and like, I'm just, I'm so excited right now. Okay. So I just got out of my voice lesson and I'm ready. She said I'm ready and she's really excited and I'm so excited. So I'm going to be singing Love Never Dies, and my backup song is going to be She Used to Be Mine from Waitress. <sighs> I'm so excited. <sighs> this is a, like a dream. Like, you have no idea. Like, she says I'm ready, so I'm ready, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to um probably practice some more. <sighs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I am. I'm going to do this tomorrow. Tomorrow, at this time... <laughs> Tomorrow at 5, I will be talking to Sierra Bogus. Like, literally, it's 5.02 right now. Tomorrow at this time, I will be talking to Sierra Bogus. Holy shit. Holy shit. 44 hours. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really freaking out right now. Oh, my God. I'm so ready. I actually feel ready. Like, I feel okay. <sighs> Dude, I'm so ready. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to go talk to my family. And I'll see you guys later. My teacher was like, before we, she's like, you're ready. You're going to do great. Good luck. And that really, like, helped me. And later that night, I was talking to Jerrica. And she just, like, wrote me a bunch of paragraphs. Because I was, like, telling her all about, like, how I was feeling. And, like, how, like, like what my voice was saying all this stuff. And she was, like, so sweet, like, telling me that, like, I, like, I can do this. Like, have the, like, she was just telling me, like, great like friend things that I just have like an amazing voice and like I really I'm really grateful for Jerrica for that I'm all, I'll explain more about other people later Saturday comes and I wake up and I'm totally fine like I know that it's happening today so I was like it's happening today and I just wake up and I'm like fine I kind of go on with my day I didn't really know what to do because I just wanted to like get ready and get everything ready and it wasn't happening till five so I kind of just like sat around for a little bit and then I took a shower and got ready did my makeup my hair so I just got ready for the day I'm wearing my little mermaid shirt I never saw Sierra and little mermaid because I was like three when she did it yeah I was like three but um so I'm all ready I'm just wearing sweatpants and this shirt and um I've been practicing Love Never Dies. I only sang it a few times, but 
really like I really like relaxed so it just like came out and it was really like good my voice teacher made like a cut of it for me so that I can sing it so I'm very appreciative of my voice teacher thank you okay so I still have about three hours and I got everything set up with my ring light and then I'm using my stand because I'm gonna be sitting on my bed and then I have to stand up to sing because I mean I just should and also it's like it's not required but they suggest it so I can just raise this up when I have to sing and then I have my headphones because they also suggested like headphones and then my cat is on my bed which is great and then um, over here I just have all my music just in case I might need it I don't know just in case I don't know and then I have they suggested a notebook like just to like write things down so that's pretty cool and then I have my light lessons just I'm really ready but really not ready at the same time like I don't know like I feel ready but I don't like I don't know I still have three hours so I just need to like do something it, today just feels so odd like I don't I don't really know like it just feels like it's today's going by so fast like it's already almost two. Oh my god it's really happening today oh my god and I just sat in my room until five like I kind of went outside and talked to my parents and like whatever because they were doing stuff outside and so then as it gets closer I start freaking out like really bad it wasn't it was it wasn't good at all and it was like it was like so unsettling because I was like fine and then I started freaking out so I mean I get why, but it kind of just sucked that I started freaking out, and I couldn't calm myself down. So as it got closer, I kind of started to calm myself down, and I sat here. This is the exact spot I did it, um, and I'll show pictures as well, but this is the exact spot I did it, and I just sat here with, like, the zoom in front of me, and, like, it didn't start yet, but I was just sitting here waiting for, like, an hour. Like, literally, like, I just couldn't wait so the zoom call starts and I'm like hi so they're all so like um Mark who is who like runs Broadway workshop he um introduced Sierra to us even though like we know her but you know what I mean and um then we all had to go around and introduce ourselves and it was it was it was good so then Sierra was kind of talking about how like she's gonna like just give us notes this is like a safe place like it's fine and yeah so I, so the first, so they were like, who wants to go first? And I was kind of hesitant. I kind of wanted to raise my hand, but I just didn't. So then this girl, um, I think she was the youngest one there, actually, because it was 13 to 15, or 13 and 19, and I think she was 13. But she raised her hand, and they were like, yes, and then they were like, okay, we're going to put Taylor on deck. And I was like, okay, because I kind of wanted to go next. So I was like, okay, let's go. So after the first person sang, it was my turn. So I was like, T I'm singing Love Never Dies, and Mark was like, I saw that on the West End, and I was like, I wish, or whatever, I don't know. And it's so crazy because in that moment, like, I just didn't, I didn't think it was real. Like, it just felt so weird. Like, it was a, it was a good feeling, but it was just so weird. I sang the first time, and I was shaking really bad. Like, I was very, very shaky. So it wasn't the best ever. It wasn't my best performance. Like the first, the, the verse was okay. The chorus was iffy. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It wasn't as good. So she was, I, I forgot what she said exactly. She was like profusely like writing things down like really fast as I was singing like to take notes on like what to talk to me about. Why do you want to sing this song? That was the first thing she asked me. Like, or like, why did you pick this song? So this is what I said. I remember what I said. So I was like, so I picked this song because, like, in honor of you, because I'm doing this with you, because you inspire me for everything that I've ever done. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know. I'm so, like, embarrassed that I was fangirling so hard, but I just couldn't believe, like, I was talking to her. Like, that's the thing. I just couldn't believe that I was just talking to her. And I was like, and also because I truly, like, connect the song because I truly believe that love never does die. Um, you could break up or any like whatever and love will still remain love will never die and she was like yes yes that's good she said that I can make this more about the story and less about the vocals so really connect with 
like the story like seeing this like you've never said these words before like and like that you're discovering it like who knows when love begins who knows what makes it start and then when you get to the chorus so love never dies be sure of it this is what she said she's like be sure of it and no like that love never does die like you are realizing this right in that moment i also like that i pick a song that she sang because she can connect to it more since she sang it and give me more advice since she played this character you know and she asked me like who i would be singing this to so i said i don't really know but if i was christine i would be singing it to the phantom or eric and raul but more to like the phantom because the, if you've seen love never dies this is where spoiler alert this is where she um realizes that she wants to be with the phantom so she was like yes so who is your phantom and i was like I don't know I don't really have one because I don't I don't have one like I don't have that person I guess there's no one and she was like okay so when you connect so like you can connect this to anything that you feel really passionately about and I was like okay so she's like there are times where I've been like you and not known who I'm like relate like who I can relate this to so she used she uses Broadway like before she was on Broadway her love of Broadway as that so she asked me what mine was, and I was like, yeah, probably Broadway too. Like, this is a big dream. So she was like, okay. So then she asked me why I wanted to, why, what made me realize that I wanted to be on Broadway, which is so cool because I was just talking about it earlier with my grandma. The story I told her is that last year I, when I went to go see Waitress, it just like, I just said like, that's when I realized that I wanted to be on Broadway. And she was like, okay. So, and then she asked if that was my first Broadway show, and I was like, no, it was Wicked when I was, like, five, but I was actually seven, so good job me thinking. Anyways, I just, half the things that I said I didn't remember till later because I was so, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't really, I had no control over what I was saying. Like, I was just, like, I was trying to get words out. Like, it was, I was just so starstruck. So, yeah, she was, like, talking to me about that, and she was like, Remember, like, when you were in that Brooks Atkinson theater, um, and, like, connecting to that character, Jenna, and, like, I started smiling, because I was like, yes, like, and she was like, yes, everything that's lighting your face, I remember this so vividly, yes, that's, what's lighting your face up right now is what you need to use, and this, like, if you're listening right now, like, you can use this too, this really changed my life, like, yesterday, like, this, it changed everything, she was like, yeah, you need to use that, so let's go again. So, grab my water because I was my throat was so dry, and I was like, I'm not gonna be able to get through it again if I don't drink something. So I quickly took a drink, and she was like, Who are you singing this to? And I was like, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? And she was like, the, Like a specific person that you're like singing this song to, or dedicating the song to. And I was like, Can I use you because you're like a big inspiration to me? And I could have said my parents, my grandparents. I didn't, but it again. Again, I wasn't thinking either, but it was just, she was like, right there. And I was like, you? I don't know. So she was like, yes, you can. <laughs> Here's something that I will never forget. So, as I was singing, she, so I was just singing, and I started, and she was, she was, like, really looking, like, intently. Like, she was very, like, invested. And I got to the second line, who knows what makes it start. And she smiles I'm gonna cry she started smiling like really big and I think I have a picture of it and um she's like yes yes and you can see her kind of get emotional and that right like <sighs> like I watched her with the other people and it wasn't like that like I it was like she had like a connection to my s singing and like she felt my emotion and that is everything to me like that right there that moment everything it's so um it, I don't know I don't know it like everyone <sighs> It's so hard to explain it. Like, it's just crazy. Like, she had that emotional connection to m my singing. And I will forever treasure that memory. She looked so proud of me. 
and she just met me and she just looked like yes so then after I was done she goes she goes yes Taylor like hearing her say my name is just incredible but she was like yes Taylor yes and she just looked she was just so proud of me like oh my god I it was amazing honestly and she was like, yes, and the last thing I'm going to tell you is don't forget, like, when you get to that chorus, don't, like, you can smile a little bit because you're realizing this, like, yes, love never dies, you're realizing it, and, like, I can smile when I'm singing it too. So that is basically what she said to me. So then we did a QA. and a and so I asked Sierra, I was like, so during when I was singing, I kind of felt really shaky, which kind of threw me off, but I did it, and she goes, yes, you did. I was like, <laughs> so, um... I, so then I was like, so how do you, before like an audition or like performance or something like this, how do you calm your nerves? And she like spent like five minutes on this question, which was really cool. And she told me like a bunch of things, like, um, it's kind of like a switch in your brain. And like, it's like, oh, I have these butterflies because I'm nervous. And the, these butterflies are the same as the butterflies you get when you're excited. So just say, I have these butterflies because I'm so excited to share my experience was like to share my song with someone and she basically just gave me a lot of advice which was so cool like I just sat there and I was like uh-huh like I was just so like interested and after I was like that that's so cool thank you like that's all I said like I was just so in awe you know it was so cool so then afterwards we took a picture on um, like all of us and that was it so that was my experience with Sierra Vargas on Zoom. So I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the aftermath because um, it's kind of exciting, I guess. So after the Zoom call, I just sat there kind of and my mom came right in, like right after. Like she, I don't even know how she knew it was over. She was probably standing there. But um, so she came in like right after and she was like, how was it? And I was just like, good. <laughs> went downstairs and I like got my dinner and I just sat down at the dinner table and I didn't say anything like they're like let's hear all about it and I was like I, I, okay like I didn't really say anything because I didn't remember and like because I was just like that happened like that just happened like everything started coming back to me later afterwards like I was like remembering and like looking at like screenshots and like whatever and I saw, like, Sierra's reaction to me singing. And I immediately just started bawling my eyes out. Because I couldn't believe that she reacted that way. And she just looked like she was gonna... She looked like she was tearing up. And she just looked so proud and invested. Like, I might be, like, reading too much into this. But, like, I... It was just... I can't believe... Like... It was so cool, and I just started crying. I was like, she really, like, did, like, she really, like, I can't believe that. And I'm gonna cry again, but... So afterwards, after I told my parents everything and, like, whatever, I called my grandparents, and I told them all about it, and they were, like, really, really happy and excited, and, um, that was really cool. And then I called Gracie, and I told her all about it, too, and she was like, yes, um, and... That was great. And then I called, so then I was telling my friend Camden about it, too, because he wanted to know. Um, and he's, like, he was, like, tearing up when I was telling him. It was so, it was so sweet. Oh, my God. Like, my, I, I'm so grateful to have, like, the friends that I do because everyone that I've mentioned is, like, so sweet. I also told my friend Sydney, my friend Leah, um, all about it. And I'm just so, like, grateful for them. Like, I'm so grateful for everyone that's ever supported my dream. Like, I don't deserve that. Like, thank you. If you've ever supported my dream to be on Broadway or, like, whatever. Like, thank you. Like, I really, truly mean that. Thank you. Like, my, my grandparents have always supported me. My parents, definitely. <sighs> just thank you. Like, truly. So, um, I also told my other grandparents, my cousin Jason, who's also supported me a lot. The thing is, I wish I knew about her so much sooner, because I would be such a different person. Like, she really made me think more, like, positively about, like, things in life. Just, like, how to, like, cope with fear, and just, it really, I don't know. I just really wish, like, I, I knew about her way sooner. But, I mean, better now than ever, right? So, I think that's kind of it for my experience. 
honestly, I have, there aren't enough words to describe how much, how grateful I am for this, and thank you so much to my dad for this experience. Thank you to Broadway Workshop, Mark, Sierra, definitely Sierra. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it was kind of a mess, but I'm a mess. Um, this was just an ex this was just a dream. Like I can't believe I really still can't believe that happened. It's just a dream come true. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.